In 2014, international publishers Dorling Kindersley commissioned underwater filming specialists Scuba Zoo to photograph some of the ocean's most dangerous and elusive sharks. With almost 20 years experience in natural history production, photographer Jason Isley and I, cameraman Roger Munns, know that simply tracking down all these sharks is going to be a huge challenge. It's going to involve a series of punishing trips covering 50,000 miles across three continents, involving planes, cars, boats, and fins. But if that isn't tough enough, we'll need to cram it all into just 40 days to make our deadline. And that sounds like a mission impossible. But we're going to give it a go. Our first mission begins with a 7,000 kilometer flight over to the tropical paradise of Fiji in the heart of the Pacific Ocean. Jason and I headed to a community-run marine reserve in the Benga Lagoon, home to what may well be the world's most dangerous shark. It's our first day of diving. We spent yesterday unpacking and getting the camera ready. However, the temperature here is not quite as uh, warm as we expected. Feeling a little bit apprehensive. Uh, quite excited to see a big bull shark. And most of all, I really wish I brought my five mil because it is a very chilly day. Due to access restrictions, we've had to join a recreational dive boat, so the encounters we hope to get will, unfortunately, not be exclusive. Most shark experts consider the bull shark to be among the most deadly, responsible for more human attacks than any other. But here, in Benga Lagoon, close encounters are actively encouraged, with bin loads of chum sloppy mix of fish heads and blood. And then, to bring them even closer, the dive leaders risk some extraordinary hand feeding with meaty tuna heads. The results are certainly not for the faint-hearted. But today we're just too far from the action, penned back with the tourists. To get the shots we want, we need to get much closer. Day two, hasn't got off to a good start. As you can probably tell, it's uh, raining again, and uh, hopefully uh, we have a better day uh, today than we did <laughs> yesterday. So, uh, Roger, what's your thoughts on today? Um, I'm smiling, but inside, I'm hurting. It's still raining, it's gonna be dark. We're gonna try a deeper dive today, so we're going down to 30 meters, uh, rather than 25, which we did yesterday, so hopefully we'll get more action. The downside to that is that, Things can be a lot darker down there, so it's going to be harder on the video camera, especially with this uh, cloud and rain. So we'll see what we get. Now we've proved to the dive leaders that we're not complete numpties, we're going to be allowed beyond the safety rope. It's making a difference, but the vast number of reef fish attracted alongside the bull sharks are bringing their own problems, as Jason discovers at the end of the day. Isley's been making some pretty angry noises over there. What's the matter, mate? What's he doing here? Too many fish in the ocean. So, beautiful shark and phone a Damsels everywhere. Ruining my shots. Very difficult to get a nice, clean shot of a shark with no damsels in the way. Tomorrow's another day. It's our last day. The sun is out and the pressure is well and truly on. We're on our third day of diving now. Uh, yesterday I was uh, complaining and whining about the, uh, the weather and not getting close enough to the sharks. Uh, as you can probably tell, it's a bit brighter today. And uh, we've got a new dive plan with the, the, the boss here, uh, which will hopefully get both myself and Roger much closer to the sharks today. So hopefully uh, that will be, be a big improvement. Our plan is to move to a more open section of the reef. Once again, the bull sharks are out in force, and all those annoying damselfish are joined by some smaller reef sharks. But photographer Jason is sat a whole lot closer, and he seizes the moment.
Mission 1 accomplished.